All right, my fellow N64 aficionados, we have us yet another new N64 game to enjoy in 2023. And this time around, it is a port of Xenocrisis. So back on April 1st, Bitmap Bureau announced that they were porting Xenocrisis to the Nintendo 64 and Nintendo GameCube and announced that it was not an April Fool's joke because April 1st is the most inauspicious day to be announcing new game releases, I must say. But here we are, beginning of May here, and Xenocrisis for N64 has arrived in the mailbox. So let's go ahead and open this sucker up and see what it's like. And just from first impressions alone on the box, this is friggin' sick. Anyway, let's go ahead and open it up. All right, so here we go. Xenocrisis from Bitmap Bureau N64 version. And gotta say, this is just such a cool experience seeing this type of authentic N64 styled box in a new release here for the system well after it's been discontinued but like this actually has me very excited because it just looks like an actual release product for the n64 but let's go ahead and get this uh cellophane wrapping off here like this is part of the cool thing about this like it actually is like sealed like an original n64 game for the most part like yeah, just very authentic it's cool just brings back a sense of the late 90s, early 2000s, and so, there we go, but anyway, like, look at that, Xenocrisis, like, that is a very well-printed box art, got our authentic N64 red stripe here, compatible accessories, players, and then, uh, Bitmap Bureau instead of the N64 the logo, which is great, but then we also have our blue, yellow, green, and red sides of the spine, and each one has their different artwork. Like, it's freaking sick. Like, it's very authentic. And the box isn't overly glossy, so it's not like some other ones that have come out recently where it's just a big shiny mess when you look at it, but, like, it looks good. Like, it looks really good. And then finally on the back, we have a nice little Xeno Crisis Bitmap Bureau emblem here where the Nintendo seal used to be for rent for sale, rental, and use only in USA, Canada, and Mexico. Oh, just super authentic. An unofficial release, not associated with Nintendo. Unauthorized reproduction is prohibited. Like, that's, it's all very fun and authentic. And then, of course, we have our game description. Time to run and gun. Xeno Crisis an arena shooter. Optional two-player co-op, seven diverse levels, procedurally generated. Adapt to your tactics. Adapt your tactics. Arsenal, 10 different weapons, 6 intimidating bosses, 512 megabit cart. Like, ooh, that'll actually be important um, since I plan to dump this ROM. Since I bought the physical copy, I didn't get the uh, ROM file. You can buy these in ROM files alone if you want, but I wanted the physical cart, but I'm also going to dump it with my Retro Blaster to put it on my EverDrive. But screenshots, like, it's very well made. Like, this is just a fantastic box, like... Super impressed. Super, super impressed with this. But anyway, open it up here. Oh, yes. Look at that. That is so cool. So, so cool. So, authentic N64 uh, cartridge sleeve here. And then... There is the card itself, and that is awesome. It's using a matte label, so it's not overly glossy. Bitmap Bureau, the seal, like, great artwork here on the cartridge label. Like, that is, that is a cool card. The plastic feels a little bit different than original N64 game cards, but, like, not a big deal. Like, we know it's not an official game, so, like, that's so sick. And then on the back, Bitmap Bureau Game Pack, 2018 Bitmap Bureau, that's fun. Oh, look at that. They even put a little stamp in here for, uh, like, you see on official carts so you know that they are authentic. Like, that's cool. That's cool. No Nintendo logo up here. I'm kind of glad about that. I don't like it when the people put that up there on, like, Repro Homebrew Games. There we go. It looks 
it looks properly beveled. Feels feels like it's beveled. Like that's that's a legit cart. All right, so we'll set that down right there for now. And look at that, we even get an instruction manual and it is in its own little protective sleeve here. That's cool. Oh no, can it open? Yeah, yeah I can, okay good. I was a little alarmed at first that it was sealed and you'd have to tear it open. I was like, no, we want to have an instruction manual protector. So that's freaking neat, it's actually using, um, so some N64 games had like full cover art and then other ones used just this yellow background with the N64, and that's what this one's doing. So this is his. So this is a very authentic feeling N64 manual. They took off the logos so as to not be violating copyrights. Can't blame them. So that's cool. Oh my gosh! Look how neat this is. <laughs> that's cool. The seal. Introduction, so we get some story info here. How to play. I'm very curious to see how this plays on an N64 controller. Oh, there we go. Very cool. So you can move with the D-pad or analog stick. Shooting C-pad up, down, left, or right. So all the C buttons are shooting. B or L is grenade, A or R, and Z is to roll. Interesting. Oh, that's fun. It even has the warning about the control stick, how the N64 controller would uh, set the stick to zero wherever it was pointed. Do not spill any liquids on it. Our characters. Enemies. Dude, I love this artwork. Weapons. Equipment. Oh no, hostages. There's hostages, y'all. Oh, that's so cool. Roll cancel. Dang, okay. So that's pretty intense. So I've been wanting to pick up Xeno Crisis for a while now. I wanted to pick it up on Genesis. I never did. Then I thought about getting the Neo Geo CD version. I never did. But I just felt so obliged when they announced this N64 version that I finally had to do it. I feel bad that I haven't played this one yet because I know that it is a very well-made game. But I'm glad we could finally rectify that situation now. All right. But let's go ahead and pop this into the 64 and give it a shot because I'm excited. All right, let's go ahead and get this cartridge inserted here. So that just fits like a dream right there. Yay. All right, let's dive in. Sick. All right, so we got us a nice language selection screen here. So quite a few to choose from, honestly. That's pretty awesome. That's so cool. Friggin' cutscenes. Have a code red distress signal from code red. We'll have to give that a bit more of a viewing some other time. Because right now I just kind of want to jump into the game itself. So this is on my N64 digital console here. So. Very cool stuff. Actually, I should probably turn my scanline filter off so the YouTube compression just doesn't absolutely destroy this. So give me a second here. There we go. All right, so we have one player, two player, and options menu, difficulty modes. Interesting, easy or hard. Audio. Controls. Oh, cool, you can customize the controls. Oh, there we go. Shoot, shoot, roll, grenade. That's fun. Just stick with the default, I guess. 
Oh, nice. Vibration. On or off. Yep, that's vibrating, alright. That's cool stuff. I like how the title screen and everything changes depending on which difficulty you have selected. That's a cool touch. Alright, choose our marine. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so each of the buttons on the C buttons give you a, um, they shoot you a different direction. So it doesn't matter which direction you're facing, you can just instantly be shooting the other direction. Like, that's very cool. All right, so there's our roll. All right, grenade, roll, roll. Alright, B is also a grenade. Dude, this is cool! <laughs> and if you pause it, you get a seed. Like, that's cool. But anyway, now that I've wasted all my nades and stuff, like, good times. Like, yeah, this is cool. Running out of bullets. Alright, so if you run into them, you'll melee. That's cool. Ow. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun one. So, this game has been around for quite a while now. Like I said, I've been wanting to pick it up for such a long time. I'm glad that I finally have because this is cool. <laughs> Super excited to have it on N64. I want to give the GameCube disc a try one of these days as well. So, I mean, all this stuff is. No. So, every version of the game is available on Bitmap Bureau's site. And, I mean, they have it on so many systems now. You can get it on Neo Geo AES, MVS, CD, uh, the Genesis or Mega Drive if you're from Europe, Dreamcast, now N64, and GameCube. This game is available on so many different systems. Like, it's really cool. Oh, I'm dying. I suck. <laughs> oh no. Wasted my nade. Oh no. Oh, we had him halfway dead too. I just messed up so good. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, that's cool. It starts us back at the boss with all of his health where it was. Dang it. Love messing up my nades. So you can also play this with the D-pad, which is nice. Yeah, we did it. Little dance. Rank D. <laughs> Uh, deserved. Oh well. Alright everybody, so that is Xeno Crisis on N64 from Bitmap Bureau. I just spent the last 45 minutes playing this game even after I stopped recording the initial impression because it was just so much fun I couldn't stop. I'm really bad at it, but this is quite an awesome game. I'm glad it is on N64. It's an awesome addition to the platform in my opinion. Great system for multiplayer games, so... Just a uh, perfect fit here. I am so glad Bitmap Bureau ported this to 64. And uh, yeah, this is just an awesome package. If you were wondering about its quality, like this is one of the best uh, post-discontinuation N64 releases I think I've seen to date. Just overall quality is just top-notch. Feels like an official release in every way. Um, yeah, they just really outdid themselves like... Congrats to Bitmap Bureau. I hope this release is a huge success for all of you because it is so good. But yes, everybody, if you're interested in Xeno Crisis, check it out on Bitmap Bureau's site. Again, it is available on pretty much every Neo Geo, Genesis, Dreamcast, GameCube, N64. 
So many options available to play this one. I believe it is also on the Evercade if you happen to have one of those. So just so many great ways to play this game. So definitely check it out. It's a fun one. But we're going to go ahead and call it here for this video. Thank you so much as always for watching. Hope you found it somewhat fun and informative and enjoyable, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, be sure to keep it tuned to the channel for more awesome videos, streams, and other fun things that we do here. So until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, y'all stay awesome, keep on gaming, play Xenocrisis, and we'll see you back next video.